Hi everyone, Harris here with iDownloadBlog. In this video, we're taking a look at the changes, which there are a lot of, to iOS 14 Developer Beta 2. This comes in around 832 megabytes on my iPhone 11 Pro, and this is available for all those with the Developer Beta, with the Public Beta still coming a little bit later. Starting off, we have a very slight difference to the Incoming Calls tab on FaceTime and the phone app, so you can see that slight difference there. Now in the compact caller view of the phone, when you answer something, you can pull up the speakerphone option right from that heads-up display menu. Now in the weather application at the very bottom, it tells you the exact location that is pulling the weather data from. So for instance, for Cincinnati, it tells me it's coming from 5th Street East. In the podcast app, they switch the library and the browse buttons at the bottom. Not a big difference, but it is something there. The Photos widget now has a 4x4 option, which is new there. Under the iCloud options, the Family Sharing button looks a little different now. Under the Music settings, there's now a Motion toggle, which you can change whether you want motion to be on or off or on Wi-Fi only. And this will change the animated cover art that displays in the background of a song. There's also new subtle haptic vibrations for the play, the pause, the back, and the forward, which is awesome and just a nice subtle touch in the music app. Now in Control Center, some of your icons and accessories are bigger than the others, whereas before the accessories would be the same size. Now, for instance, my desk is prominent in Control Center. Now in your app library, you actually have the ability to delete applications from there. So you can see the delete app that exists in my app library. And then on your home screen, you have the ability to remove app and it'll give you the option to delete it or remove it from home screen. There's now a new emoji to choose from in the reminder application. And comparing it to iOS 13, you can see that both there is the emoji picker in general, which you can choose any emoji. There's also an increased list of the emojis themselves. There's now a files widget that you can put onto your home screen. And you can do two different options of them. And this will display recent files that you've opened onto your home screen. The clock, which you can see right there, now has slightly bolder hands than before. So you can see previously, less bold, and now more bold, pretty subtle. And also the calendar now, instead of spelling out Wednesday or the day of the week, it's just going to have an abbreviated form. You can also see that the 8 is slightly bolder than it used to be, so overall it is much more readable. And finally, for the picture-in-picture -picture mode, you can choose between three different sizes when you double tap. So that's great to have those three default sizes. And of course you can pinch it and make it what you want. So those are the changes to iOS 14 beta 2. Let me know what your favorite is. Let me know if you discover any more and we'll have plenty more iOS 14 content coming soon.